So in today's video, I want to take a look at how to format a uh, date object. So suppose we just have here a simple date and um, I want to print it on the screen somewhere. Well, right now I'm just going to print it on the console, but uh, the use cases for these are usually that you want to print it somewhere in a web page. The same thing applies. So for example, we can start with just saying console log date, right? This is a new date should be the date where when this code has been executed and it's going to print it on the screen. So if I run this, well, you'll notice I'm going to get uh, April 6th, 2020 and exactly my time and even my time zone and whatnot. That's very interesting. Okay, but what if I want to change this? Because as you can see, this is not really easily legible, right? You have the weekday, you have the month, then you have the date, then you have the year, then you have the time, then you have the time zone, and also the time zone uh, specified in actual words. So how can we control this? Well, first things first, there are two methods that you should actually know uh, that are on the date object itself. So the first one is to uh, date string. And this guy, is, this guy, what it does, it, it simply uh, trims away the time, the time and the time zone and just displays the date information. So if I run it, you'll notice I'm going to get just Monday, April 6th, 2020. That's it. That's fairly okay. So if you want a limited use of it, that's fine. If this works for you, you can simply use this. And as well, there's two time strings. So you can also use two time string and this guy is going to print out, as you can see, the, just the time itself. So we don't see the date. And aside from that, there's also the to ISO string uh, method. So you can call this and what you'll get is the actual ISO string, like the, specific, the proper specification of a uh, date time object that you can then, for example, uh, pass back into the date object. So you can actually take this string in and pass it to a new constructor. So if you want to do that, for example, new date and this, the date constructor is gonna know how to pass that, right? So if you want to convert that to string and back. Uh, and this is what most people use actually to even show this information on the screen. Except what they do is either they simply, let me make some space in here. I hope you notice. Uh, what I'm doing here, but uh, the idea is what they do is just they go split So they split at the T as you might notice there's a T right here in the middle specifying that after this character There's the time specified. So we're gonna split at the T. We're gonna get two uh, Strings this one and this one and what they simply do is just say of zero and that should get us the date just like so so this is a very a fairly neat way of getting the date out of a date time object in a fairly well formatted manner. Although how to how to customize this even more? Now if you want more customizations than this, you're gonna have to use the date time format object. That is gonna allow you to actually print on the screen in whatever way you want to print the year, the month, the day, the hour, the time zone, even everything else. Um, to use it, you just say let, I'm going to call it dt format from date time format. And this is going to be equal to new in tl dot date time format. And this takes in two parameters. One is the locale or multiple locales if you want to fall back from one to another. Or this, and the second one is the options, which is basically the way of telling the, this formatter how to format the dates. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, specify here as a local default, or you can also not specify anything. That's a, that's the exact same thing, and I'm just gonna try to format it as is. I'm gonna say dt format dot format date, and if I try to run this, you'll notice I'm gonna get this uh, format. This is the basic format for my uh, current locale of the current environment. Your uh, result may vary because your environment might be different than this and the date format might also be different. But you can specify, for example, I can say here n-us and if you run this, you should get the same result, which is, well, this. Now, suppose I, instead of this notation, I actually want to print out, um, I want the month to be that short three-letter notation 
I wanted the day of the month to be uh, to have two digits and I want the year to be well the full year as it is right now how can I do that well inside this options parameter the second one if we pass in here first we can say here day and in here we can say two digits this is the option for it so we want to format uh, the days as two digit numbers all the time even if uh, the day has only one digit so even if it's like six right right now I want zero six instead and the month I want it to be uh, its short notation and then the year I want it to be just uh, numeric so that that's the default uh, way of printing out the year now if I try to run this you'll notice I'm gonna get April 6th and 2020 so this is a way to control these uh, parameters and of course what uh, something else that you can do is uh, instead of day month and year you can specify the time so for example I can say hour I want our hour to be uh, well numeric and I want also minute to be also numeric and now if I try to run this you'll notice I'm gonna get just the hour and minutes and also the either it's p.m. or a.m. right and I can actually specify whether I want this, so a 12 hour notation, or I want a 24 hour notation. What you have to do is to simply say here, um, hour 12, set it to false. So the 12 hour representation of the time, set it to false, so set it to be 24 hour representation. So if I run this, you'll notice I'm gonna get 1843 without a pm without the am suffix now suppose i instead only want uh the minute and the second let's say right if i want only the minute and the second well i'm gonna get 4347 okay that's not too useful uh but you might you might have some uses for this for example we can make a simple program that creates two dates one uh a few seconds apart from each other and just uh displays the difference in time between those two something like this so here i have a date that i'm creating before the timeout and this set timeout is going to execute this function after two seconds and well after the two seconds have passed it's going to execute it's going to create another date and then I'm going to get a, the difference between those two dates. So I'm going to say here, this is the uh, a simple way to just get the difference between two dates, just get the time, so basically that gets the number of milliseconds in a date object, and then just subtract uh, one from the other. And then just use the constructor to construct it back into a uh, proper object. And what I can do is just use the format here with this uh, diff variable, and if I run it, You'll notice I'm gonna get uh, after two seconds. I'm just gonna get two seconds. Now, for such a short period of time, maybe you want to actually create your own formatter because this guy doesn't support milliseconds. But if you have something that takes minutes, then this is a very, very simple way of doing the formatting, and you don't have to worry about it too much. And the the nice part about all this is that you have to create this formatter only once in your program, and then you can use it anywhere else you might need right you can just you, you just have to pass around this format and if you change it here it's going to change for every single uh, time you use the format method on it and for completion's sake uh, i have also uh, i'm going to put in the description a link to this website that has the proper documentation as you can see mdn doesn't have much documentation about this uh, daytime format it just has examples upon examples which is great it's all right but i kind of want to see what uh, the options argument has and on this website uh, all the options are actually listed out here and their values so you can have here weekdays you can even have the era you can have the year as numeric or two digit you can have the month as numeric two digit narrow short long and so on and so forth you can even specify the time zone or the time zone name the way uh, it's actually shown on the screen and of course, also the, the hour cycle. This is kind of interesting that you can specify the hour cycle, though it's probably rarely used. So that's really, that's really all there is to it. Um, so date formatting, really very simple, I think. Uh, not too much of a hassle to work with. And 
if you need something more complex than this, if you work with uh, dates uh, in every single part of your code, I suggest you take a look at a uh, library, namely the moment.js library. So if you need to uh, work with time and um, dates and many other things, this, this library is a godsend basically it's one of the best out there and uh while the daytime format that i presented to you is uh fairly good this guy has everything you might ever want all right so i hope this video was helpful if you do have any questions please do leave them do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server thank you so much for watching take care bye